bam, 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 bam. And if you're pretty new to boxing, it's very, very complicated to move and punch at the same time because you gotta think about so many things like keeping your hands up, turning your hips, breathing, relaxing your shoulders, keeping your loose knees, stepping with your front foot first and your back foot. There's so many different things to think about if you're new to boxing, so moving and punching is pretty difficult. And on this video, I'm gonna give you the simplest way to learn how to do this so the next time you're in a gym, you can practice on that. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you my favorite combination that I love to throw when I'm moving and punching. So make sure you hang around at the end to see this. And guys, if you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic bronze medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing education. So if you like boxing and you wanna get better at boxing, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification for more videos like like this. So for this video I've changed my heavy bags around. I've got the teardrop bag up because with this I can swing it there because I need something swinging if I'm going to move and punch. And now the key to moving and punching at the same time obviously it is your feet. Way too often I'll see people when they're sparring or if they're on a swinging heavy bag the bag will be moving like that. They'll keep their feet still and then when the bag's going away, they'll throw the punches and then they'll overextend, the bag will be going away and they're leaving the feet there. They're leaving the feet behind so they're not moving and punching and they're not getting any power in the punch. And as well, if you think about it, if I throw punches like this, I'm kind of off balance to throw anything else. That is a very common mistake I see with this. The key to moving and punching is stepping the same time as your punch. Example, the bag is moving. If I want to throw a jab, jab, cross, I need to step, jab, jab, cross. So what I did is I stepped and punched, stepped and punched, stepped and punched with the cross, keeping the, me feet underneath us all the time. You never wanna bring your head forward. If you think I've got this line here, we've actually got a line there, I never wanna bring my head in front of the line when I'm throwing these punches. So I'm keeping my head behind the line, keeping my feet underneath us. Ba, ba, ba. I want you to focus on how my feet and my hands move at the same time. Here it is. Ba, ba, ba. Keeping the feet underneath us. Again. Ba, ba, ba. Now move them backwards. The same thing applies. I want to step and punch at the same time. This time when I punch with my front hand, boom, my back foot's moving. Rather than moving forward, when I'm moving my front foot and my front hand, this time my back foot, front hand. That look like this. Ba, ba, ba. But the feet still underneath us all the time. Again, a little bit faster. I'm here. Ba, ba, ba. Feet underneath us. And that is basically it. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Keeping your feet underneath you. And I've done a full video of giving you a ladder drills to get better at this. Click the link below, check out the full video where I give you 25 ladder drills that can help improve your boxing. And now my favorite combination that I love to throw on a heavy bag while moving forwards and backwards, a one, two, one. This combination is great because it's great to cut the distance down. And it looks like this. <laughs> one, two, one. Now you can see how much the bag swung there. I got lots of power in it. So the combination, again, it's a one, two, one. Here it is again on the bag. <coughs> one, two, one. Stepping in with that last punch. You get a lot of power in that last punch. Again, <coughs> one, two, one. Ooh, hoo, hoo. nice combination, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Any questions in the comments below? Thank you for watching.